Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to use the trigger volume V2. So first of all, you want to grab out your maker pen, which can be found in the backpack section of your watch, and you can press use on it to use it. Alternatively, if you favorite it, you can grab it from your back like that. So to find the trigger volume V2, we want to open up gadgets, go to CV2 gadgets, and go to the next page. Then, we find the trigger volume V2. Now, I'm going to detach from object, so whenever this is moved, this um, board right here will stay where it is. So, um, today, I'm going to be talking about uh, how the trigger volume works and all its pins. Basically, when you walk into it, it'll send out a value here for player entered. So, when a player enters, it'll send out an execution signal which allows you to activate multiple different things. <laughs> this will send out a player value that will allow you to connect it to anything so you can set the player to whatever you want, like an impulse, um, whatever else you want to do with it. For the player exited, it'll send out when a player exits, and it'll, and it'll tell you which player exited. For the object entered, it'll send out an, an execution when an object enters, and it'll tell you which object entered. Same with the object exited, just when an object exits. For this, this is a list value, which can hold multiple values at once, <clears throat> instead of just being one singular value, which, this list value, uh, it'll contain any player that's currently in the zone. And this object one will contain any objects that are currently in the zone. So, if I set up a demonstration, I'm going to look for the physics, Impulse add. Vector create. I'm going to set this to one. Now, if I walk into this, it should send me upward. Which is a bit wonky with how it works sometimes. Um, but I believe if you replace this with an impulse set, it shouldn't have that issue anymore. Yep, now you won't have that issue anymore. Um, now you can do many different things with trigger volumes. Um, just depends on what you think you should do with it. Um, but there's not much to the trigger volume. Um, and if you want to view the trigger volume chips, you can press this. And you get all of this, which probably is a bit confusing um, upon first glance. But... This just uses the trigger volume chips and condenses it into its own chip. Um, so this isn't really much there, um, but it just grabs if the player's local. But if you didn't have that, then it wouldn't actually do anything. Uh, so yeah. Um, there's a bug, I guess, with the CV2. But, as always, enjoy CV2 creating.